In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire your prototype. Now this is really where your designs come to life. So let me hop straight in and show you how to do it. Okay, so I've brought in four of these screens from my UI kit because they have a nice cadence to them for me to show you how to wire up your design. So we're going to switch out in the top left, we're going to hit prototype and then we're going to start wiring the elements that will advance to the next screen. So here we've got choose an available time that we would then like to take to this screen where we've actually already pre-selected a time for someone and we'll keep that as default. We'll just turn on preserved scroll position. Now what that means is if the content was scrolling it means that you would get a seamless transition sideways instead of the content jumping back up it would it would seem seamless um, and that can be handy for elements such as this for uh, choosing available time that would just seamlessly seem like you would just hit one of the buttons so that can be really nice and then from here we want to use the book button to advance to the pay screen now that pay screen is an overlay so for me that would make sense if that slid up from the bottom we don't need to preserve scroll position on that and then from here the confirm fingerprint screen is what would advance you to the next screen and we would like that then to disappear and slide down so that is the very basic of how to wire up your design now these anchor points you can take absolutely anywhere in your design you, you could take it across the entire document if you wanted if you had many many screens you may find it easier to actually use the drop down menu here providing you have titled all of your screens correctly that's why putting in titles instead of the defaults is um, is quite important when you come to the prototyping stage however you could just simply use this anchor point to visually wire up your designs too